Welcome to Kern Learn. I want to take a few minutes to show you how you can submit assignments through Canvas and Google Classroom. There are several options and we will take a look at how to do them. We will first look at the options through Google Classroom because you may already be familiar with Google Apps and you may continue to use them whether your class is being conducted through Apex or Canvas. First, you will want to make sure you log into Google using the account the Kern High School District has assigned to you. Notice that up in the corner, I have an avatar and I can see that I am logged in with my Kern High address. If you have an existing Google account, account at home, you can add this account by simply clicking on the avatar. And this is my own personal email account. So what I need to do is add the account here. When I press this button, I will be prompted to put in the six-digit user ID at kernhigh.org. Then press Next and enter the password that I have set up associated with the Kern High account. Once that has been attached, it's very easy to go back and forth between the two accounts. Just make sure that before you start your work that you are in the Kern High account. Google Classroom is not available to the general public. Once I know I'm logged in with the Kern High address, I come over to the Waffle Square and I select Drive. Google Classroom is accessible only through Google Drive, so you must be there first before you see the icon appear for Google Classroom. Once it is loaded, go back to the waffle at the top, press more, and you will see at the bottom of this menu the classroom icon. Your teacher may or may not have set up a Google Classroom for your specific class. If he or she did, he has given you a password or code to join the class. You would come up to the top, find the plus sign, click and join class. This is where you will put in that code and then join. Now teachers often use the Google Classroom for both announcements and assignments. The assignments may or may not be listed here especially if your teacher is using Apex but this is the easy way to turn in the assignment. Once you have completed the assignment then you simply need to select Turn In and it will allow you to share the assignment. Or if you are not working through the Google Classroom but you have your document in Google Docs, you simply need to press Share, type in your teacher's name and the address will automatically appear. Notice it's the teacher's name at kernhigh.org and then select that name and press send. Now the document has been shared with your teacher. Google Docs is favored by most teachers because we can comment on your document and you can respond to our comments. Any Word document can be uploaded to your Google Drive. Simply go to the Google Drive, press New, and select File Upload. Choose the assignment you've written in Word, Open, and it will appear down here. Once it has uploaded the Word document, when you open it, notice that I am once again in Google Docs. Therefore, even Canvas assignments can be completed in this app and sent easily through that learning management system. Let's take a look and see how that is done.
So here is the assignment that I am completing. Notice that it says I can submit a text entry box, a website URL, or a file upload. Now this shows I've already turned in the assignment. But if this is your first time turning it in, it will say Submit Assignment. When I click that box, notice down at the bottom I have different tabs with different options. File Upload, Text Entry, Website URL. The Dropbox options are rarely used by teachers. These three are the primary ways that we use to accept assignments. Let's start with the website URL. If I've created my response in Google Docs, notice at the top that it has a URL. If I select it and copy it by either right-clicking or double-clicking if I'm working on a Chromebook, if I copy it, return back to the Canvas tab, click in the website URL box, right-click or double-click again, and paste. Then simply submit assignment. Once I've done that, notice that Canvas has told me I've turned it in and the date and the time at which I did turn it in. That's the website URL option. Let's take a look at another option. I might have composed an answer in Microsoft Word or and this is more likely for math class, I've created a paper copy of the assignment. So I need to upload the file. I will choose the file, and I have a folder that I keep all of my assignments in on my desktop. This is the assignment that I did for Mr. Ela's math class, Geometry. I will open that and it will upload that particular file of a picture of homework. I submit that assignment and again I will receive confirmation of when I turned it in and now he has the assignment. The last option is text entry. This is a relatively short answer response so I can just directly type in my response to the questions. And then simply submit. So there you have it. When you are ready to turn in your assignment, you have several options. And if you are keeping copies of these in your Google Drive or in a folder on your desktop, you will never have to worry about losing an assignment or a pet consuming it or your little brother or sister drawing all over it. You will also have a record of when you have submitted the assignment. But if you still aren't sure what to do, please don't hesitate to call or message your teacher. We want to make sure you have no problems completing and submitting your assignments. Have a great time.